Hello, my name is Eric Kubiak. I'm here from the University of Nevada, Las Vegas, and the University Medical Center. Today, we're going to talk about crew lock lock and compression screws and their use in fracture and trauma care. They feature a variable step thread pitch, are compatible with existing plates, and are available both in titanium and stainless steel. Crew lock lock and compression screws are a unique implant for the treatment of periarticular injuries in trauma. They provide excellent compression across articular surfaces, which would otherwise need to be achieved by either the use of clamps or lag screw fixation techniques. We'll go through a couple of use case scenarios and the use of the crew lock locking compression screw in the treatment of intraarticular injuries. This patient is a 42 year old male who sustained a distal impaction injury to the tibia as demonstrated on these plane films and made even more apparent on this surface rendered CT scan, which demonstrates the sort of explosion of the distal articular surface. Based upon the teachings of Rudy and Algauer and all subsequent learning since then, we understand that these injuries have a guarded prognosis. But to achieve the best outcomes, we need to seal and compress the articular surface and restore the anatomic position of the distal articular fragments. To that end, we look at the lateral. It's very important that the talus remains centered under the reduced distal tibia. The crew lock locking compression screws really help achieve this in providing further compression of the reduced articular surface, sealing that joint space, preventing the intrusion of articular fluid between the fracture fragments as they heal. And that reduction achieved by the active compression of the implant and the step thread pitch can be seen on these subsequent follow-up radiographs with maintenance of the distal articular reduction. Now this is another example of a high energy distal tibia injury where the talus is impacted and exploded the distal tibia. In this case, this is a 42 year old male was in a high speed MVC. Again, intrusion of the firewall, classic for this injury with radiographs that demonstrate comminution of the distal articular surface of the tibia and then surface rendered CT scan, which really demonstrate all of the energy imparted to the distal tibia and the frank explosion of the articular surface in response to the talus driving up into the distal tibia. Treat these injuries with external fixation, particularly in the high energy situation to let the soft tissue calm down. Of note on this, you can see the talus wants to almost sublux anteriorly and the joint of the, the distal articular surface of the tibia seems expanded. Right? Pass through this, sort of stitching the articular fragments back together, compression of the fracture plane, placement of provisional fixation in a clamp, plate applied, and for me, still a suspicious position of the talus with respect to the anatomic axis of the tibia. Talus is displaced anteriorly. Articular surface is wide with respect to the talus. Left in this position, this fracture is probably going to do poorly. Application of the crew lock compression screws with further compression of the articular surface of the distal tibia and the AP plane, the talus is now centered under the anatomic axis of the tibia. Let's go back and look at that again. The talus is anterior. It's not really where the anatomic axis. We apply the crew lock compression screws, and there's a restoration of the talus underneath the tibia where it belongs in a congruent articular surface of the tibia, which should provide long-term support of the talus and give this patient the best chance for a great long-term outcome. At two-year follow-up, you can see maintenance of the talus centered in the distal tibia, maintenance of the articular reduction, and maintenance of that compressed distal articular surface, which is so critical to support the talus for the best potential long-term outcome for this patient. Crew lock locking compression screw makes tremendous sense to a classically trained orthopedic traumatologist. I've been taught for generations that when treating periarticular injuries, restoration of the periarticular anatomy, compression of the joint surface are critical to the long-term outcome of that joint and the survivability of that joint for the patient. Crew lock locking compression screw achieves all of those benefits of a lag screw fixation with the additional benefit of being fixed angle, locked to the plate, and not requiring additional steps to achieve that compression particularly when the articular fracture 
is perpendicular to the trajectory of the screw. Thank you.